Hey guys, wanted to make a video to uh, discuss the problems I've been having with trying to learn how to fly and uh, use simulators because of I pr because I purchased the FlySky FSI6 remote that comes standard with the ready to fly version of the Ishin Wizard X220. So the big problem is uh, with the standard USB cable that attaches to the the FSI6 most or if or all of the simulators do not detect it and uh, you cannot use it. it simply just does not respond so uh, I accidentally ordered a new USB cable because I thought this one didn't come with one it was buried in the box uh, found it later but it turns out that was a good thing because with this new cable I purchased from Amazon I can actually run uh, the simulators with the FSI6 now the only one I've tried so far is FPV event um, which I'm really a fan of it really gives you the better racing feel um, most of the simulators out there are kind of like freestyle sims and that's cool and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into that too but really I wanted to start off uh, with racing so this one works better for me. It has really good graphics, and uh, other reviews have said that the feel is more like a real copter than some of the other uh, softwares. Some of the other softwares, it's real floaty, and you get this like bounce feel as opposed to how it really feels to fly. So, uh, checked it out, and I really like it. You can get it free for the next seven days. Um, and uh, the link will be in the description after that I think the winter event is going to be over and it's like five dollars a month basically so if you only needed a couple months to learn how to fly or even one you're only out five dollars and you can buy the full version for around forty or fifty dollars one time fee comes with ten tracks uh... he doesn't have ten out yet but in the future you'll, you'll get the free downloads for the ten tracks So. Uh, this is the FSI 6 and only plugged up with the stock USB controller so I wanted to show you that uh, real quick so if I go to and open FPV event here it is can see that this does not control anything. I have to use the keyboard, go over. If I wanted to set this up, I'd hit C right here. I'd select VJoy device, and here's where I would configure it. But you can see right now, nothing is moving, and it doesn't work. So I configure, I'd hit up right here, it doesn't do anything. So I'm going to close that, and I'm going to unplug plug that came with it. And I'm going to plug in this uh, aftermarket one that I purchased off of Amazon. And you'll see the difference. Uh, also, the cord is much longer for this aftermarket one. The, the standard one is only like five feet long or so. I mean, uh, three feet long, and this one's more like six feet. So I'll plug this in in the back, and it's off right now. I'll turn it on. And I'll go ahead and start FPV event again. and immediately you can see it's flipping through the menu here's how you set it up, you hit enter right there C to configure it's already recognizing mine but this is, I'll delete it and redo it you're gonna hit PPM so this PPM wasn't available as a menu option in the other one I assume this cable allows the PPM to work so I'll select it and uh, you can see it's working. I'll hit configure. 
raise the throttle up, lower the throttle, right turn, left turn, up, down, roll right, roll left. Box one, box two, and I'll save it. I'm gonna try it one more time because uh, something didn't look like it worked there, but BPM configure. Uh, oh, I get it. So it has to be in the center. That's probably the problem I had. Configure, throttle up, throttle down, turn right, yaw lift, pitch forward, pitch back, roll right, roll left, box one. Okay, save. Alright, so we'll go in here to racetracks, select country, and uh, in this, uh, the M key switches between stabilized and acro. And I'm first learning a little bit on stabilized. Uh, so you hold to the bottom right to start the engines or the motors and then you're you're off and it feels just like a real quad. So you can use this to practice. And you can switch it if you want to your acro mode and then do all the crazy tricks you see and learn how to fly. So I really like it and I'm really glad I can use it now. So if you want to be able to do um, oh, I didn't die, how about that? If you want to be able to do simulators using this remote then uh, or this radio then I would suggest you pick up this new cable from Amazon. And the link will be in the description. If you like the videos I'm making and uh, like what I'm doing on my channel, appreciate it if you would uh, give this video a thumbs up and like and subscribe. It would really help me out. And I'll continue to make uh, good videos and any anything I can help to contribute to the community. That would be great. So, uh, talk to you guys later.